Pilgrims, and welcome to another episode of the Polygon Pilgrimage. And today I have something pretty simple for you, and we're not going to do a whole lot of fancy technological things. Uh, what we're discussing today is more of artistic uh, decision making and uh, thought process. And what I wanted to share with you is one of my absolute favorite uh, moments in my life so far was from my college days. And as you know, or may know, I uh, graduated from the Art Institute of Washington, and I graduated with a multimedia arts and animation degree. So one of my first classes there was a concept class, you know, how to come up with these artistic ideas. And my very brilliant teacher, uh, he just drew this square on the whiteboard, just a, just a square, and said, tell me what you see. And he asked every person to describe what they see. And everybody was trying hard to come up with something different from everyone else. You know, people would say, oh, I see, you know, if I point out here, I see the top of like a skyscraper and we're looking down. So that's why you can't see anything else. Other people would say, oh, it's a doorway. Other people would say, oh, it's a, you know, uh, it's a cube sitting on a plane. And when it got to my turn, I told him, I said, what I see is the hole of a square donut type shape whose edges are beyond the whiteboard. You know, we're, we're kind of zoomed in for like a reveal. You could pan out and see, or zoom out and see the the whole thing as it comes into view, but right now we're kind of zoomed in and looking at more of a central part of it. And when everyone had finished talking about what they thought they saw, he said, he pointed to me and said, yours was my favorite. And everybody looked at me and I felt kind of like, oh wow, you know, I had the favorite answer. And he said, does anyone know why? And there was silence in the room. No one could think of why. Why was my answer the favorite? And then he explained. He said, you were the only one who was not limited by the whiteboard. You saw something that was beyond what we were currently seeing. You took into account that idea of framing and said, you, you were literally thinking outside the box. You were thinking outside of the whiteboard. You saw more of a world than an object contained within this scene. And what that shows is that shows artistic talent, that shows vision, and that shows that you're thinking in a way that is not limited at all by anything, including your current surface that you're sketching these ideas on. And he said, so that's why your, your answer was my favorite. So I just wanted to share that thought with you. Um, it's one of my favorite moments, of course. I feel really good about that moment. It was, it was fantastic. And it was just a moment where I was just honest. I said, this is, what I, this is what I see. This is what I think of. And I think that's something that we should all take into account is don't let yourself be limited by anything, not even by your current medium. Uh, I'm a big advocate of doing more with less. So I'll have you know, not the most powerful industry tools or I'll have you know, the uh, hand-me-down equipment or whatever it takes. But that doesn't mean that you need to be limited by anything. So never be limited. Always think outside the box, and leave an, uh, leave a comment in the video below. See, uh, tell me what you see with this. What what did you think of when you first saw this? When I started explaining the story, what what came to you? So it's a great exercise, guys, and a great reminder that part of our artistic journey and our artistic ability and education is also uh, non you know, digital is not related to our tools. It's related to our mindset and how we go about thinking about these incredible things. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, uh, keep practicing. And I will see you next time as the pilgrimage continues.